Hi everyone, welcome to day 12 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we will be solving one of the data analyst interview question. Let's see the today question. Write a solution to show the unique ID of each user. If the user doesn't have a unique ID, replace with null. Return the employee name and their unique ID. Now we have two tables. The first table name is employees. In the employees table, we have two column. The ID which is the primary key and we have the name of the employee. Now let's see the second table. In the second table, we have the ID which is the same with the first table and we have unique ID. Okay, let's go ahead and see the table. So let's see the first table and the, their data. The first table we have ID, which is you can see and we can uh, see also name of the employee. So today we have five records. Let's see the second table. In the second table, we have employee ID and the unique ID of that employee. Now the thing is that in the second table, we only have three employees, not five employees. Now what we need to find out basically all the employee name and their unique ID but we can only see there are only three unique IDs are available so whatever the employee doesn't have a unique ID or doesn't exist in the second table we can return null basically for those employees. So we can solve this using simple and left join uh, to select all the name from the first table then we can select basically the unique ID from the second table so whatever the employee doesn't have a unique ID they will get a null. So let's see we can say select and I'm selecting name from the first table. Okay, I'll just give the alias later on. So I'm just saying name and I'm selecting unique ID which is from the second table. Now I'll just give some from and uh, from employees which is the first table name as E. So I'm just giving an alias to the first table which is E. So I'll just make a join here. So let me first do an inner join to see like uh, you know what are the difference between inner join and left join. So let's say join with the uh, employee. So employee and let's see the table name which is employee uni so employee uni as eu so i'm just giving an alias to the first table which is eu second table which is eu first table which is e so i'm just changing the column name again eu dot uh, the employee unique so unique item getting from the second table and the name i'm getting from the first table now if i do a left join they both have same column which is id so i'll just go ahead and say that join on eu id equals to id right so i can just run this query I will have only three employee because I'm doing an inner join. Now I'm doing an inner join. That's the reason I'm only getting three employee and their unique ID because inner join select everything from both the table if there's a match. So now thing is that we need rest of the two employee which are there in the first table but they do not exist in the second table. Now we can do a left join to select everything from the first table, right? Which is selecting everything from the first table. I mean all the names. Then whatever the employee doesn't have, whatever the name doesn't have a basically unique ID they will be getting basically nulls here. So I can just do a left join now, I can just run it. Now you see that these two employee which is Alice and Bob, they do not have a uh, unique ID in the second table. That's the reason they're getting null. So this is how we can solve this kind of problems. So I have a task for you. So the task is that you need to replace this null with the zero. You can write down your solutions in the comment box. And if you want to download this data set, I'm going to add a link in the video descriptions. So do check that. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Have a good day. See you tomorrow and happy learning.